Welcome to part 2, the next 30 days of our Mama Fratelli's ORV screen accurate Jeep build. We recently heard back from the engravers about our screen accurate center caps. There's, There's a, a story. story on these wheel covers, so indulge me for a second, this might be boring for some of you. The wheel covers I found are supposed to be Western wheel center caps. They did not have the Western wheel logo on them and that's what makes them the Goonie wheels. So I wasn't able to find anything anywhere else, so I got them and brought them to um, an engraver for them to engrave and put the, uh, the logo on them. The logo, they said that they could not do it exactly the same way that it is because it's a logo, it's a registered trademark, they can't do that. So I was like, okay, can you get it like extremely close? And they're like, okay, we got you. I'm like, awesome. I have not had the wheels and these center caps together at the same time. So I don't even know 100% if they'll fit. I hope, fingers crossed, that the center caps fit, the engraving works. I was amazed. Look at that. They worked out beautifully. Oh my gosh. A subscriber sent us a third license plate, which we'll use to get actor autographs. I found what I thought at the time were the correct driving lights. I need to wash off all the mud and dirt and remove all of the parts in the rear. We'll be replacing most of them including the shocks, leaf springs, sway bar links and bushings. The brake lines and cables, fuel hoses and clamps. I also need to replace these rusty brake lines. With all the parts removed from the rear, it was time to start the initial soak and rinse. We sent away for the vintage vinyl KC light covers. Last month we had dropped two of the wheels off at a sketchy wheel repair shop. We checked in with them. But yeah, they're being worked on, so that's good. And they're still here, that's good. <laughs> and they take credit card, that's good. Another wash of the undercarriage. It's a dirty job, but it's looking good. We began the search for underbody spray. We acquired two additional doors to replace the original dented ones. We've replaced three of the four doors so far. We still need to replace the damaged driver's door. Hopefully when I get the rear end on here and I get a battery in it, hopefully it fires up and the clutch is good, the transmission is good, the transfer case is good, and the engine is good. I know, that's a lot of things to be hoping that they're good. I kept washing it until all the dirt was gone. If I had a pressure washer, this process would have been faster. I continued to scrub and clean the bottom of the Jeep, and more rinsing. We removed the filler neck and hoses, they were nasty. I replaced the rubber filler hoses, hose clamps, and cleaned the metal. And more rinsing. And more cleaning. The final wash and rinse. I primed where the filler neck and tubes go. Then painted it. And then we reinstalled the assembly. It was finally time to spray the undercarriage and seal it up. Once this is done, then I start installing everything again. And then uh, I'm pretty sure the differential should be done at this point. It'd be so nice to get this bottom stuff done and get it sat back on the ground again so it can roll. And then I get a battery, change the oil, and see if it'll start. That's exciting too. After the undercoating was applied and dry, I began installing the rear brake hose and all of the hard brake lines. I also removed, cleaned and reinstalled the brake proportioning valve. The fuel filler neck and tubes have been installed. The fuel cap has been installed. It's been painted gloss black on the inside. There. We have replaced the vent for the differential. We have the brake line for the rear done and on. We have the new brake line ran all the way up and we have a new master cylinder. We have the uh, brake lines here, clean the proportioning valve, and the brake line right there. I cleaned and painted some of the hardware, including the sway bar bushing clamps, clamp bolts, the fuel tank J bolts, the sway bar, and the axle snubber bolts. I installed the sway bar with new sway bar bushings and the new axle snubbers. We purchased some fake oh, soda crackers so to make keychains so out of, which are currently available on our Patreon soda page. Crackers. Yeah, but they're they're plastic. They're plastic, so we'll put a hole in there so Mama Fratelli's keychain, both of them, will have a soda cracker on it. Because you know Mama likes her soda crackers. The link is in the video description. It's time to start working on the exhaust. 
I began fitting the exhaust pieces into place. After they were accurately positioned, I tack welded the exhaust pieces so that I could remove the whole assembly and properly weld it together. I removed it and welded all the connections. I then carefully remounted it and tightened the bolts at the catalytic converter. Except for rounding out the tailpipe that was bent during shipping, the exhaust is done. It's true. I just got a call this morning. The differential is ready to be picked up. Alrighty guys, there it is. Brand new looking rear differential. Whoa, look at that. I installed both new rear leaf springs. I installed the remanufactured rear driveline. I realized that after the differential is reinstalled, it will make the fuel tank installation more difficult. So, let's just do it now. We installed a new fuel tank, fuel hoses, sending unit, and tank straps. We cleaned and reused the plastic tank shield. Oh my gosh, it's in. Fuel tank, fuel straps, both leaf springs, the sway bar, sway bar mounts, bump stops. All the fuel tank is in, everything is connected, everything is looking fresh, the exhaust is in, the drive line is in. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, this is looking so fantastic. I cleaned and painted the differential U-bolts and nuts, and then got the differential positioned and ready to install. I carefully lifted and guided the rear differential into position. I attached and tightened the U-bolts and nuts. My son came out to give me a hand with installing the driveline. Hey! Hi. You didn't know she was there? I didn't know she was there. Wow! So, Phoenix just uh, shifted it into first from neutral. Whoa! Here, take a bite of this and see if you like it. <laughs> <laughs> and she's homemade granola bars. Mm. Oh, not bad. For now, this is how she's going to be for a little while until we get back from camping. Uh, but the rear differential is in. The sway bars are connected with uh, new sway bar links. And yeah, we got all the all the hardware uh, torqued down. And uh, the drive shaft right back there. You saw just a second ago, Phoenix has helped me with that. Yeah, so look at that. It's freaking beautiful. And then you come up and it's be like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> but it's getting closer. Wow, can you believe it, guys? 60 days already gone and we've achieved so much. But, oh, there's a little sneak peek. A sneak peek of what's also been accomplished. Because in real time, we're about a year and a couple months into the build. Uh, or the rebuild, rather, of Anne. If you would like to follow us in more real time, make sure to check out our TikTok, our Instagram, and our Facebook group page. All of them, Mama Fratelli's Jeep. You can also follow us on our other YouTube account. It's Beyond 1031, and it's just a daily vlog, but I also vlog this in real time of everything that happens because it's a daily vlog. So whatever happens in our daily lives are posted there. So it may not be 100% Jeep content all the time, but, uh, it will give you guys a real-time uh, update. Also, thank you so very much to our very first Patreon, Josh Bryant. We appreciate you so very much. We are trying to get this thing done by the 7th of June, 2025, for the 40th anniversary of the Goonies movie. And we're bringing this down to Astoria, but we can't do it without your help. It's very, very expensive. We've got lots of stuff left to go on it. And, uh, well... Yeah, and then we've got some further updates if you don't already know about what's been done recently. It's so exciting. We appreciate you guys for following and for joining our own Goonie adventure. We'll see you in the next video.